how did you become interested in the subject of adaptation? I mean, what does it open up uh, intellectually? I think I've always had a penchant for, I don't want to say rescuing or protecting, but it always feels that way, um, parts of our culture that people think of as secondary, less important than others. And many years ago, I worked on parody because everybody said parody wasn't an important thing, and I thought it was incredibly important uh, in the middle of a postmodern culture that we were in. Um, and adaptations are another one of these things that people see as secondary derivative. And I think they're really interesting. And, and the reason I think they're interesting, adaptations in particular, is that this is how we, I think, have always told stories. We haven't just told stories from the beginning of human time. We've retold stories. And that's what interested me. It's not just that we have today, but it is true. We have more media, new, new means of diffusion, so we need more stories. Um, but we aren't just making up new stories. We're retelling old stories, but we always have. We've always retold stories. I mean, only one of Shakespeare's plays is not an adaptation, and even it adapts conventions from other things. So this is the history of how we've always done. Why do we denigrate it? So I was fascinated by that. You, you said an, an adaptation is a derivation that is not derivative. Yeah, it, it obviously comes out of, out of I, I think that because uh, um, a text comes first, a, wor a work comes first, doesn't mean that it has any claim to any kind of authenticity. Uh, I think that these stories, adaptations and their adapted stories exist sort of vertically for me rather than horizontally, that there isn't a priority and an after. There's a kind of, they exist. So for me, when I watch, and I, I suspect this is true for other people too, when I watch an adaptation of a book, a film adaptation of a book that I know, um, it's like watching a palimpsest. There's sort of two things going on. And what's happening for me is that I'm oscillating between the work I know, the novel or the book in this case, and the film I'm watching. And I'm flipping between the two. And I'm not necessarily comparing them. I, I probably am, but I'm not evaluating that comparison. I'm just noticing that this is the same, this is different, or whatever. But I've always got that doubled experience. So for me, going to see an adaptation or read an adaptation is always a nicely doubled experience. It's not just single. It's got a dub two, two layers for me. And you don't, prior you don't give higher priority to the original? No. I, mean, I, I, see, I, I sense this sort of disparaging way you allude to the original. The original. It seems to me the original yeah. is the original. You know? Well, no, because it probably was based on something. I mean, take Shakespeare. I mean, the adaptations of Shakespeare. Shakespeare was himself a great adapter. He adapted every... I mean, I'm not sure we have original stories. I think we've always, we are, we're always retelling stories in some ways. Movie adaptations are uh, amazingly popular. I think you say something like 85% of all Oscar-winning best pictures are adaptations, 90% uh, of all uh, mini television, miniseries, of course. Apart from the hunger for material, why do you think that is? That this, You know how children love to have stories told to them again and again and again, read to them again and again? I think that there is something about this pleasure of a familiar story that we like and enjoy, but seeing it in a slightly different way and seeing it in new ways, I think there's really something to that, that, that sameness but difference that comes in. Because I, I was surprised, for instance, with something like Masterpiece Theater, and they, and they started, I think they're calling it Masterpiece Classics, and they're actually remaking Jane Austen. I mean, they have made in the last year or two Jane Austen um, adaptations that they made 20, 30 years ago. I mean, remaking the Remaking remakes. the remaking, the remaking, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a different culture today, and I suspect that you, we would remake even historical ones differently. I think that remakes are always interesting because they uh, film films that remake films, because what changes? Well, the audience changes. The audience is if the f if it's twenty years later, the audience is twenty years later, and they may know that film, so that becomes part of the background. That is the new environment to use a biological sort of image into which this the adaptation, like True Grit, for instance. I yeah, mean, like True Grit, perfect yeah. example. Yeah.